morning, everybody. Welcome back to Good Morning KU. I'm Emma. And I'm Kate. We're here to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, our fall breaks here yeah. at the, on the Friday morning Good Morning KU staff, what we did over break. Uh, bit I of, wish fall break wasn't I know, over. A little bit of reminiscing about those nice two days that we had off. It's, yeah. been, a, it's been a rough week coming back. Oh, yeah, it definitely has. I It was so hard to get up for class this week. Yep. I just... It's, Ugh, I'm, I could I'm, do for another fall break again. I'm still in denial about it being over. Yeah. All right, so what did you do for fall break? Well, um, the band had a trip to Iowa over the weekend. So there's me and Olivia all uh, stanced up in our raincoats because it rained the entire time we were there. It just poured and poured and poured on us. We actually uh, didn't even get to play our instruments because it was raining so hard. And unfortunately, the KU football team did take a loss that weekend as well. So oh, no. it was a little disappointing all around, but I mean, we looked cool, so. Made for an adventure, though. Yeah, sure Getting did. Soaked. Well, what about you, Kate? What did you do over fall break? Um, over fall break, I drove up to Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan, to visit my boyfriend up at Davenport. Um, we went to Lake Michigan. It's my favorite beach. Um, this is Lake Town Beach in Michigan. <laughs> There's us, yeah. It's our favorite beach up there. It's such a pretty beach. Looks um, like it. It was an 11 hour drive, so it was quite the drive to get up there. But if you leave early enough in the morning, it's not the worst thing in the world. But it's worth it to go up there for him. I only get to see him every so many weeks. He has a lot of games for rugby. and But it was nice to go up to um, Michigan for the little weekend. And Looks like, like the weather was nice. Yeah, it was nice that day, um, but it was raining like it was oh. here for most of the time. We went to um, a Western Michigan game and it got completely rained out. The entire stadium flooded and oh the entire gosh. field flooded because it was raining so much, but it eventually cleared up on that Monday and was a, a nice rain. day to go to the beach. A lot of rain this weekend. Yeah, so it looks like um, everyone else here at Good Morning KU did some fun things. Connor went to the Chiefs game. Unfortunately, the Chiefs lost that day, but it looked like he was having just a looks good old like time. Looks like it was still a fun time. Yeah. The Chiefs game is always a good time. Yeah, always a fun time. Win or lose, it's always a good time. And there's Isaiah. So he went to an abandoned hotel. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the abandoned hotel. He was a, when exploring to take some pictures in an abandoned hotel somewhere in uh, downtown KC. And, and then Shawnee Mission Park. Looks such, yeah, it looks like such a nice day. Looks eventually cleared yeah. up here. It was raining for most of the week, but eventually beautiful. cleared. It was so pretty. And it looks like Nick. Uh, Nick went got to go to a, a K State game, wasn't it? To yep. work for Fox Sports. Yeah, he said he was there for 14 hours That's rough. filming and working, but it looks like he's still having <laughs> yeah, a good looks time. Yeah, like he's having a good time. He's still time. Had a positive attitude, but that's so exciting to be working for Fox yeah, News. Yeah, that's cool to get to do something like that. Yeah, for sure. I, I don't even know if they want. And then there's Shelby with oh, her horse. She went horse. to the um, American Royal Hunter Jumper Horse Show. Shows at the American Royal are always really cool. I've been down there a few times. Mm -hmm. I know um, that horse wasn't her horse. She has her other horses leased out right now. Um, but she took second in the show, which is really awesome. Oh, Shelby did a great cool. job. Um, she looks so professional up there on her horse. I know, her horse is beautiful. She's beautiful. Yeah, Everything. She is. Oh, it's gorgeous. I wish I had a horse. That'd be so fun. And a little closer to home, looks like Tyler had a fun time with his friends here at Ramen Bowls. He told me that he ordered the Tokyo Shoyu Ramen that day, which I can attest is delicious. I've never been there. Is it it's, really good? It's so good. No, it's awesome. Looks like he and his friends are just having a blast. Is it just ramen bowls there? It's, I mean, they have like other Asian food, but it's like, it's a really good environment there. It's like really fun and all the people that work there are super nice and okay. it's such delicious food. Where is it? I, like, I want to go try it. It looks so it's good. It's just it off so of good. Mass Street. It's like where the army recruiting place is. It's okay. like right past there. It's well, so delicious. That gives me something to look forward mm -hmm. to this weekend. I'll probably go try that. Yes, everyone should go try it. Oh, I wish fall break wasn't over. Fall but break, we miss you. At least we're you. so close to the weekend now. Yeah. So, do you have any big plans for the weekend? Sleeping, just sleeping, sleeping. I feel it. Definitely feel that. We were supposed to have a marching festival on Saturday, but it got canceled due to some weather. So, all the marching band kids have the weekend free. Oh, that'll be nice. You can yeah. just get to sleep in. Mm -hmm. and what about you? Going anywhere? Doing um, anything? 
this weekend is my sorority's dad's weekend, so oh. my dad is actually on his way to Kansas Aww. right now. Hi, Dad. Even though you can't <laughs> see this, you're driving. That's okay. You'll see it later. <laughs> um, but I, he's probably in Iowa right now, so he'll be here later this afternoon. Um, we're actually going to go take a tour of Allen Fieldhouse Aww, with um, all the other girls and their dads, so that'll be really fun. And that's then cool. we're going to go bowling later this weekend and go to the wheel for some food. So that'll be fun. It'll be nice to see my dad. I haven't seen him for awesome. a couple months. So it'll be nice. That's mm -hmm. cool. All right. Well, I think that wraps it up for me. Yeah. I think we're all good here. After the break, Hannah's going to be back with an interview. Have a nice day. You too. Welcome back, I'm Hannah Halverson, and here is my interview E, Shane Martin. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Uh -huh. And so, uh, what did you do over fall break? Or how was your fall break, I it should say? It was really good, I didn't do a whole lot. I think the biggest thing I did was change the oil in my car with my dad. Oh boy, so not yeah. too much over this fall break? Nope, just enough bonding time to know that we still love each other <laughs> and cars are still really hard to work on. All right. And so you're from Kansas, so were you watching the Chiefs game last night? Yep, I watched them last Sunday versus the Steelers, and I watched them last night versus Oakland. Neither one turned out the way I wanted to they turn out, though. They took the L. <laughs> the defense, yeah. I don't, mm -hmm. was it like four or five plays at the end when, with zero time on the clock? I stopped watching, I gotta say. I stopped watching oh, it. <laughs> I watched the bit, bitter end. Yeah. I'm a diehard Chiefs fan, so. Oh, I bet. But it's okay. I'm from Chicago, and they took some L's last night, too. Yeah. Blackhawks what, what and the, the Cubs. Score? The Cubs, I I got to say, maybe 9-1, to one, was it? I'm not sure. I, that's when I looked at the eighth inning, that's what it was. Yeah, so I, I don't know if that's how it ended, but I kind of stopped watching that, too. Once the teams go down, I'm just over it. Yep, so yeah, so it was really fun when the Royals were in the playoffs, because you had the Royals in the playoffs, mm -hmm. and then Chiefs football was going. And then, at the same time, at the end of the playoffs run, college basketball was starting up. Oh, yeah. And I was like, yes. Speaking of college basketball, I heard you're going to the game on Sunday, is it? Yeah, yeah versus Mizzou. First mm -hmm. time in four or five years, I yeah, believe, that we for played. Yeah, a while. So, um, I heard Bill, uh, Bill Self was saying that it's like the, what, what you're talking most about? This? The most anticipated, anticipated exhibition, game, exhibition game, yeah. I, so. I can see it. I mean, yeah. um, Against Mizzou, we haven't played them in forever. Last time it was I think, double overtime by a point. Mm-hmm. Big and rival. Huge rivalry. Mm -hmm. It's the rivalry, and plus it's for a good cause. So I mean, that's mm -hmm. just all around. It's a win-win situation. Yeah. I'm excited for. It. Are you going to the game? Mm -hmm. No, I actually looked on StubHub last night and it said zero tickets left. So I'm not going to the game. How did you find your tickets? On um, when I found out that they were on sale through the students when you have the student pass. Oh, okay. I don't have one, so I did some furious texting and calling <laughs> of all my friends I knew that had them. And eventually a couple of them got back to me and got, got my the ticket. Yep. So who were you going with to the game? Um, a couple of my friends, one of my old roommates, and then my best friend, Brandon. Okay, So that'll be a good time. It, yeah, it's gonna be a party. It's gonna be a riot. <laughs> I can't wait, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I love I college would be basketball. Same, that's my favorite time of the year. I've never been to a basketball game at the Sprint Center either. Really? No. I have actually I haven't either. But I am going to the State Farm Classic in Chicago. I think November thirteenth or fourteenth is it? Okay, so is that the big one where they play Kentucky and uh -huh. all them? Kentucky, oh, Duke, Kansas, Michigan. and I think Michigan State. Yep. yep. I hope that so. that's gonna be a good one to oh, go on. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Well, thanks for having or yeah. thank you for <laughs> being here today thank and you for having letting me. me interview you. Yeah. yeah. 
and we'll be back soon with the news. When you shop local in the heart of the city, you support the people that make our community thrive. The money you spend here stays here, in this place we call our home. Lawrence, Kansas, where there's good old-fashioned hometown pride. Eat local, drink local, shop local. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Welcome back, I'm Carson Turner and this is your Good Morning KU News Update. Four teens have announced their candidacy for Kansas governor on Thursday. 16-year-old Jack Bergeson and 17-year-olds Tyler Ruzik, Dominic Scuscuzzo and Ethan Randleys are all candidates in mind. Kansas is one of the only few states that has no age requirement for running for government. All four teens have answered questions from Free State High School students on candidate stances on things such as gun control, taxes, and also how they would continue their education if elected. The Douglas County Court charged a 20-year-old Topeka man for the murder of three people near 11th and Massachusetts earlier this month. There are multiple formal charges against shooter Anthony L. Roberts Jr. Two people sustained non-life-threatening injuries and three people killed during an alleged altercation. Lawrence Police urges anyone with information about the incident to call Lawrence Police at 832-7509 or, to remain anonymous, Crime Stoppers of Lawrence and Douglas County at 843-8477. The Senate approved a Republican-backed budget on Thursday by a vote of 51 to 49. This is a big step forward for the GOP efforts to legislate tax cuts. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said, We have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to replace a failing tax code that holds Americans back with one that actually works for them. Senator Rand Paul believes that the budget ought to reduce the deficit and was the only Republican to vote against it. This budget will expand the federal deficit by $1.5 trillion over 10 years. KU basketball is set to play Missouri in an exhibition game that will benefit hurricane relief. During a press conference on Thursday, Coach Bill Self addressed the hype around the game, stating, it's probably the most anticipated exhibition game in the history of exhibition games. All proceeds from the game will go towards hurricane relief efforts. This border war game against MU starts at 3 p.m. this Sunday at the Sprint Center. That'll wrap it up for today's news update. Stay tuned and Olivia will be back with the weather. Yeah, I always just clap in the start. This is where everyone's talking amongst themselves. Do you know how to do it? Do you know how to do it? Are we supposed to smile? When do we start? Somebody over here already started. Can we talk about how the piccolo part's the most complicated one? It is. <laughs> you listen, you're doing it when the band's not playing. You have to tell me when it starts. I still don't know. Here we go. has a right and a wrong way of doing it. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Wrong. I like my way better. I don't know how I'll to do the head. It's just I don't Sorry. know the head. Welcome back to Good Morning KU. Let's take a look at your forecast. Right now, it is 62 degrees up here on Jayhawk Boulevard. It's partly cloudy, as you can see, with those low-hanging clouds, well, those high clouds, excuse me. 
and we have winds coming from the southeast at 11 miles per hour. Going into the afternoon, we will have a nice warm up at 77 degrees as our afternoon high, and our humidity is at 78% for today. Looking at the five day forecast, you'll see most of the action for the week on Saturday with a chance of thunderstorms at 80%. And you can see that we'll cool down going into the rest of the week at 69 degrees on Sunday and 60 degrees on Tuesday. Now looking at your temperature map, you'll see this nice boundary layer right over here on 7 p.m. on Saturday night. And this is what will bring us those showers that we're going to see on Saturday night. I'm expected there'll be quite a bit of precipitation, so if you're looking to go out on Saturday night, maybe go out tonight instead. Now looking at an hourly forecast for Saturday. We'll just have very windy conditions at 20 miles per hour on um, early Saturday morning. Going into the rest of the afternoon and the evening, that's when our chances of precipitation will increase. We have an 85% chance of precipitation at 7 p.m. and also at 10 p.m. at 90. And you can see that our temperatures will drop off. At 10 p.m., our temperature is expected to be at 57 degrees. And that'll wrap up our show. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to having you again next week.